So now in this video, we're going to look at electrical noise and smoothing capacitors. So a lot of circuits, you see, there are smoothing capacitors, and they prevent the rapid change of voltage. And this is why. So I've had some circuits recently that were affected by stray electrical signals. And I did done things to address that. There's a number of ways to address it. But uh, to begin with, all we have here are... These are the alligator clips that come from this cable here. We're measuring the voltage at the rail there. And it's changing because there's electromagnetic fields from stuff around here. And uh, so they're causing a very slight shift in voltage in the wiring and stuff. And so it does have voltage. There's barely any current flowing though. That is why the capacitor is effective. So first we're going to go way overboard. This is a... 470 microfarad capacitor it can be charged up to 50 volts and uh, we're really charging this to zero volts so the long lead here has to go to the positive side because it's electrolytic it's polarized the short lead has to go to a negative plus it has this dash here to indicate which side is negative and you can see that the line disappears also before I do that let's uh, yank this and we saw a bunch of noise before you could see it get bigger but you can see with my body I can really make uh, this voltage swing prominent there so let's go to one volt so it looks like I'm able to create a three volt difference of course it's not much current but uh, I think this oscilloscope has about a million ohms of resistance limiting current while it is measuring so I don't have to provide hardly any current for it to get a measurement of the voltage. So, again, we're going to go with the uh, capacitor. So this is way overboard, 470. And so now, if I uh, touch these, I can't uh, make any difference. So, as I said before, this is way overboard. You would use a lower value capacitor. And uh, there you can see that uh, even if we go to 5 millivolts per square, we are holding at about uh, 0 volts. If I remove this though, this is set to AC so it's going to center it to that uh, purple line anyways. But in any case, there you can see, it's all, it's all chaotic there. And then if I touch it, it's, uh, it's even worse. But uh, let's go back down. And so let's find a smaller value capacitor to, uh, to do this. And there you go. So this one is uh 104 so this is the that's the number on here 104 you won't be able to see it but it is a 0.1 microfarad so their decimal point there that's a, why you'll sometimes see the uh the letters microfarad in between zero and one because you can't always see the decimal point but that 0 0.1 microfarad this capacitor here and we will just plug that into the board and look there we have a, a smooth signal without uh, me touching anything. Let's zoom in to uh, the voltage back to point 0.2 and it looks pretty smooth. If I touch this so you see a little bit of wavering so if that's acceptable then because uh, normally you're not you're not touching it so that's the uh, problem me uh, touching it so if you have a circuit that can especially if it can handle this that's a large enough uh, value uh, capacitor to use. Let's go a little bit smaller. So this component on it says 103, the number on there, and uh, that means it is a 10 nanofarad capacitor. So 10 nanofarad is one tenth of the size that we used here. So 0.1 microfarad is the same as 100 nanofarad. So a tenth of the capacitance. Make sure I got uh, the right one. Nope, it's that one right there. So, so you can see, even the background noise. We got a little bit of wavering. And then if I add my body to uh, the signal. So, again, it is about two divisions. We saw three divisions earlier, but that was at, that was at one volt right there. So, this is all wavering within one division. So, we have about a... Uh, uh, one volt difference from peak to uh, peak and uh, again it barely causes any current though 
and so other capacitive effects will absorb that too and stuff but in any case that is why you'll see a capacitor that's really not doing anything it'll connect two parts of a circuit and it's just holding the voltage steady right there and if the voltage changes you know it will rapidly change its voltage you know with the uh, strong power supply but very small weak signals will not alter the uh, voltage at that point if it is sensitive to uh, voltage changes it needs a more massive voltage change to change the voltage at that point so in any case hopefully that all made sense and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video.